Last December, police asked for the public's help to find Wayne Valier Jr. Lac du Flambeau tribal member just disappeared. On New Year's Day, police found him with the help of one of the suspects dead with gunshots in his head. Now two of the five men accused of killing him are on trial in Iron County Courts. And Newswatch 12's Dakota Sherrick was there for day one of those trials. She has more from Hurley tonight. Dakota, good evening. Lane, this first day of trial wrapped up fairly quickly, and much of the first day was spent discussing where Wayne Valier Jr. was last seen and speaking with some of the people who knew him best. He was totally in good spirits. I mean, we were we were talking about a lot of different things, and like we always do. A few members of Wayne Valier Jr.'s family, including his father and fiance, spent the first day of trial remembering the last time they saw him. Yeah kissed me and told me not to worry about him and that he would be back in the morning. Richard Allen and Joseph Lucier are two of the five men accused of murdering Wayne Valier Jr. in late December. They sat in court and listened as the prosecution described what happened the day Valier was beaten and shot nine times off Swamp Creek Road in an isolated part of Iron County. Wayne is asking why, saying please stop, he's crying. Allen's cousin Clint Eads Jr. took the stand today. He claimed that Allen admitted to beating and shooting Valier. I was scared. I could see it in his eyes. I wanted proof that they're going to protect me and my family before I said anything. Despite questions on some witnesses' reliability by the defense, Valier's family is confident that they will have justice. The state is doing an excellent job at what they do and making sure that these people never, never, uh, do something like this again. We heard from no defense witnesses, but in its opening statement, the defense urged the jury to consider the facts of the case. All we ask is that you give our clients a fair hearing. The trial is scheduled to end sometime next week. Live in Iron County, Dakota Sherrick, Newswatch 12. And of course, when we get a verdict in that trial, we will share that with you as it comes. Dakota, thank you very much.